so really i'm um, good discussions going on on the common problems uh, we are going to go a couple more i'm going to take your time i hope I, you don't mind and uh, uh, be there with me for some more time um, there is another on breathlessness or dam lagna yeah. now breathlessness or dam lagna usually people rush to uh, uh, you know uh, chest Mm. Uh, doctor mm. so um, is that the right kind of you know uh, way or there is any other part to it breathlessness just related to maybe lungs or there could be anything other than that so when we say dam lagna commonly logon ko lagta hai ki agar hum wo do flight of stairs chadhte hain aur dam lagne lagta hai to mujhe asthma ho gaya okay asthma is a common so right. they think chalne pe dam laga to asthma ho gaya but remember that one of the most important heart disease system symptom is asthma oh so called asthma okay so typical difference between a lung asthma and heart dis- asthma is different so a lung person will say i keep coughing and i have repeated respiratory tract infections and i bring out sputum correct and at times i have to take inhalers and maybe i have to see the doctor two to three times in a year mm-hmm. for repeated lung infections right and maybe i am allergic to dust and other things and i get precipitation of cough cold in certain weather like right. rain mein ho gaya thandi mein ho gaya correct ya koi cheez kha li to ho gaya but heart disease asthma is different okay a patient who has been doing well for many years he was walking regularly and suddenly starts realizing that the two staircases that i used to climb now i can't climb oh i feel breathless and a little uneasiness in my chest okay that's heart right that's not lung correct similarly while i was sleeping in the night suddenly got up mm-hmm. felt breathless short of breath i had to go to the window open the window and feel little better i was a bit sweating also at that time that's okay. heart Okay. that's a symptom of a failing heart you need to seek the advice of the doctor immediately right or if your breathlessness is accompanied by a little swelling of your feet you start feeling that maybe i have gone little overweight my feet are becoming swollen swollen yeah and my thing my ring is not fitting well it's like too tight right so this is a combination of a feeling heart which is giving you difficulty in breathing as well as accumulation of fluid and the blood correct so this is heart so remember that some of the worst condition of the heart present with breathlessness yeah. not with chest pain correct correct so remember what i told you breathing difficulty that wakes you up in the night it is accompanied by swelling of the body or you were never an asthmatic patient and suddenly feeling breathless on climbing Correct. your usual staircase or going to your station and taking that road to the station right. you are finding it difficult right this is hard superb so um, uh, got a insight into uh, breathlessness but one due to lungs or respiratory breathlessness and other is cardiac Correct. so cardiac breathlessness um so can we come to the another uh, issue of you know um, dhadkan you know palpitations right so this is also again related to cardiac but can always be misunderstood with something else so patients often say that you know uh, dhadkan bad rahi hai palpitations um somebody in the family may advise so oh, could be because of a spicy food which he had on one of the you know either lunch or dinner or could be pay, he is anx- anxious, anxious too much of anxious anxiety around so is palpitations to be just thought could be related to anxiety or a spicy food or you know, there could be a heart element in it so palpitation in fact many pa- patients directly think that since because the heart is beating fast it has to do with the heart okay so many patients actually come to you for palpitations because something is wrong right so a 15 year old girl could come to you saying that i'm really having very bad palpitations okay. and then when you look at her and when you examine her you find that she is very anemic so probably right. her palpitation is because of that low hemoglobin correct but contrary to her another 55 60 year old lady coming to you and telling you that madam when i am trying to lie down in the night suddenly my heart beats very fast okay 
and I feel that it is irregular. Right. Sometimes it comes fast, then slows down, comes fast and then slows down. Okay. And then it makes me feel very uneasy. Mm -hmm. Right. I have to get up. This palpitation is not ordinary palpitation. Okay. What she is telling you is probably a rhythm problem of the heart. She could be suffering from a rhythm disorder of the heart which we call it as atrial fibrillation. Oh. It's a fairly common problem with advancing age. Patients with comorbidities like if you have hypertension, you have blood pressure, you have diabetes, you have thyroid. Yes. And then you start feeling these palpitations, please seek help. They could be a harbinger of an abnormal rhythm disorder called atrial fibrillation. So Supriya, in atrial fibrillation what happens is the upper chamber of the heart beats randomly. Okay. And because of that, blood accumulates and clots in the upper chamber. Right. And those tiny clots can go into the brain okay. and give the patient stroke. So a patient who was complaining of palpitation can get stroke because of palpitation. Mm. And nobody so could is, imagine ah, with that. Yeah, and correct. if it is not recognized in time, the tiny strokes, multiple ones can give you a memory loss. Mm -hmm. And you can become something like an Alzheimer's patient oh, or dementia okay. patient. So if you have risk factors, if you are on the higher age side and if you have these kind of arrhythmias or palpitations, please report to the doctor because they need to be treated with good treatment. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that was about um, Dilki Dharkan, Badna and palpitations mm -hmm. related to heart. Um, Aksar hum ye bhi dekhte, uh, madam ki um, after a particular heart intervention is done or a surgery is done, um, when we discharge our patients, uh, patients go home and uh, the myth and the common uh, you know, belief which is around in the community is you take rest, hmm. aram karo, hmm. um, and you know your heart and your this thing will be taken care of. Hmm. So, what is the right uh, thing about taking rest? How much rest is the adequate rest, and up to what level a person should quickly, uh, right. you know, yeah, come back to normal? So, if you have had a heart attack and an angioplasty done, most of the time we say after two weeks of physical and mental rest. Most of the patients can go back to their normal life and with a major heart attack also they can resume their work in 4 to 6 weeks time. That's great. Same is true for a bypass surgery. Right. So if you have undergone a bypass surgery, in yeah. fact the process of mobilization starts in the hospital itself. Correct. So the physiotherapist starts mobilizing you on day 2, day 3 and just before discharge you are made to climb two staircases right so in the hospital itself we are telling you that now you are getting better to Correct. go on and have a better life right so we are giving treatment to you or doing bypass surgery to improve quality of life right that's our motto so it is important that you seek this rehab and get back into normal life as advised by your doctor right so most of the patients should do after two weeks of their rest start their regular exercise regular walking as advised by the doctor and in four to six weeks time they can go back to their normal jobs that's pretty fast yeah so science has advanced now correct you don't need to sit at home or for even routine say appendicectomy also they are discharged right. next day so yes. following angioplasty which is you are not cutting anything right you don't have any scar anywhere correct so you are start you have the process of healing has started and it will continue for the next three months but the earlier you come back to normal life it is good not only for your physical health mm -hmm. but for your mental health right many patients get depressed sitting at home right so it's better to move on with your life. So yeah. remember one event cannot become an event for life. Absolutely. You have to move on. Absolutely. And follow the advice of your doctor. I'm sure your patients have that you know, confidence with you Dr. Zakia because uh, the experience says that they quickly get on to their routine okay. quite fast. Yeah. Um, so I'm coming to the, um, uh, uh, the last part of uh, today's right. conversation and chats which is on um, uh, surgery is over, procedure is over. 
सो आई एम नो हेर एंड हार्टी माई हार्ट इज गुड एंड नाउ आई कैन स्टॉप द मेडिसिन सो दैट्स अ बिग चैलेंज अगेन सी हार्ट डिजीज इज समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज एजिंग और वैस्क्यूलर एजिंग सो द डिजीज प्रोसेस गोज ऑन ओके वॉट वी हैव डन इज फिक्स द प्रॉब्लम बट द एजिंग प्रोसेस और वैस्क्यूलर एजिंग विल गो ऑन सो द ब्लॉकेज इज कैन बी अप इन एनी अदर आर्टरी ओके your bypass grafts can degenerate so to prevent that and to control your risk factors mm. we need to give blood thinners okay we need to give a medication called statins and controlling blood pressure and diabetes you will need more medication right so doctors will try to give you minimum medications they don't like to prescribe too many medications right right but what is essential for you is a blood thinner and a statin for life correct so minimum two med- medications will be there for you if you have multiple diseases you may need more medications okay but don't think that dealing with heart disease is like dealing with say cataract or dealing with appendix right which is not going to come back but the heart disease can come back okay if you don't take treatment right so i tell all my patients that don't think of stopping medications because they are going to take you for a long way and they will make and reduce your risk of future events correct we don't want you to come back again for an angioplasty right correct so that advice many patients follow many patients don't follow that advice and then they come back to us right so remember that when a doctor tells you an advice he has studied and studied data all over the world and then the guidelines have come so Correct. he has the experience to tell you what to do what not to do absolutely in my experience what i feel that they listen to the doctor then 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 there are five relatives will come yeah. then they will say don't do this this medication cause that this medication cause filled my kidney Correct. stop this stop that and then they stop and they come back with problems so remember that doctor is your friend right not only he is a doctor who is going to treat your condition but he is your friend discuss with him absolutely what is good what is not good and no one right likes to write medications that are not needed right so remember it's not over once angioplasty or bypass is done you yeah. will need medication yeah. and you will need follow up absolutely thank you so much i think um, um, as it is a pleasure uh, routinely to talk to you uh, the pleasure was today felt and uh, good that we discussed on lot of uh, common uh, you know myths which are um, in the community uh, with regards to the heart ailments uh, so thank you so much dr zakia uh, it was wonderful chatting with you on this My very pleasure, important Sophia. topic <laughs> my pleasure